In this video, we will be finding out which is the best path for the Wizard Monkey, Archmage, Wizard Lord Phoenix, and Prince of Darkness, looking at each one's stats, price, and overall chemistry. Let's do this. Welcome back everyone. Now just a little thing to note, the Wizard Monkey, his base stats are, it's a bolt attack, 1 damage, 3 pierce, 40 range, hits 1.1 second. This guy cannot also hit camo or love balloons at the start, so why not? Let's start with the top path, Archmage. Now exactly what Guided Magic does, the bolt is buff homing also ignores walls and if you get wall of fire you can place accordingly to the target priority so that is really nice still no damage no pierce at all but this guy is really used just to get that guy to magic around his pierce is already decently high so that helps a lot now for the arcan blast his bull is buffed so instead of one damage it is now two and that's really it it's all for the second tier now for the third upgrade arcane mastery he gains total of 60 radius plus 20 his bolt is also buffed instead of shooting at 2 damage now it's 3 damage plus 1 damage his pierce is also increased to 6 plus 4 pierce and he shoots way faster exactly 50% faster so 0.55 seconds and again you can pretty much run this guy either way as a 3 to 0 to gain wall of fire plus fireball to be able to pop those leads too or you can run him as a 3 0 2 to gain camera protection and also his radius would be increased time for the fourth upgrade arcane spike being at 8,500 cash. Bam! Now what exactly does Arcane Spike do? Well, his damage is increased to 5 now, plus 2 damage, and also his Moab damage is now 16, plus 11 Moab damage. Not only that, his attack shot is 50% quicker, so now it's 0.275 seconds per hit. Also counts as a Plasma Monkey now, and most people run him as a 420 to get that lead protection, and with that lead protection, you can use an Alchemist for the stronger simulant on him. But you can also run him as a 402. He is really good on straightaways, increased range, and can also hit camo balloons. So this is where pretty much everyone kind of stops upgrading him. It's because he's so great at mid game, but you can also further increase him too. Now time for the Archmage. Bam! Now what exactly this guy does is a lot. His bolt is mainly buffed, plus 2 damage, so total is 7 now, plus 8 Moab damage, 26 total now, plus 4 pierce, 10 total pierce. His attack speed is also increased by 50% every 0.135 seconds he shoots. He also gains Dragon's Breath and Shimmer's attack with 100% Moab damage. So now this guy's able to actually pop lead balloons. That's really, really good. The only downside of it is he has to be a tier 5 to actually hit lead balloons now. Or you can run him at 520 or a 502. So I have to give this guy a solid B tier, not being the best, but not also the worst. He is a great viable option, not being the most expensive path too. Now time for the middle path, Wizard Lord Phoenix. Now this path is a great popping leads, or you can also run him as a 042 to even get those camo ones too. Time for his first upgrade, Fireball. Now what exactly this does, he gains a fireball attack, 1 damage every 2.2 seconds. That creates an explosion, 1 damage and 15 pierce, or 20 pierce when he has a 0 1 1 intense magic but this guy's able to also hit lead balloons too that's really really good early game also a little thing i missed for the top path the top path can't hit camel or purple ones same with this path too unless you have a cross path with him now time for the second upgrade wall of fire Bam. now what exactly this does well now he can create a wall of fire every 5.5 seconds and the additional effects are one damage and 10 pierce or 15 pierce as a zero two one it also has a radius of 20 but if you you do guided magic with him you can actually place fireball wherever in his radius or if you really want to you can have this guy hit camo as a 022 now time for his third upgrade being the most expensive out of all the past dragon's breath he gains a flame attack two damage and one ceramic damage so now a total of two ceramic damage four pierce or as a 031 six pierce it also hits at 0.1 seconds in a radius of 50. it also applies a burn status one damage every 1.5 seconds for three seconds duration but that's not it too wall of fire now 0.1 second tick 20 pierce created every 4.5 seconds and also the fireball is buffed to 90 damage this is a lot to take in for because most people just stop him right now because his next because his next upgrade summon phoenix is crazy expensive and it's only for the ability 
So people usually run him as a 1-3-0 to be able to place down the uh, firewall and his attacks are actually homing too with it. Or you can run him as a 0-3-1 to get intense magic, increase pierce, and faster projectile speed. Or you can upgrade him to a 0-3-2 to get that monkey sense too. Increase radius and camo balloons. But since we are looking at all paths and all upgrades, we can look at summoned phoenix. Bam. Now with this ability, a cooldown of 45 seconds, but happens for 20 seconds. Summons a phoenix with flame attack, 5 damage, 8 pierce, infinite range, attacks every 0.1 seconds, but that phoenix can actually hit camo ones too, if he has intense magic and monkey sense. So the phoenix is only really good just for the ability, at almost 7,000 cash too. Now it's time for his 5th tier, wizard lore phoenix, at 42,500 cash, that's only on easy 2, the most expensive out of all of them. Now what exactly this guy does is flame is buffed, plus 5 damage, so total of 6 now, plus 46 pierce, total of 50 pierce now, fireball is also increased to 27 damage, now the phoenix is permanent, and also the ability is the same but it transforms himself into the phoenix lord, so now he's an actual phoenix, with a flame attack, 20 damage, 50 pierce, infinite range, attacks 0.1 seconds, normal, and also can hit camo if it's a 052, with a meteor attack, it also does 50 damage, 500 Pierce, infinite range, and hit normal and camo balloons. I can run him as a 250 to be able to place down the wall of fire. Not really the best though. Or you can use him as a 052, mainly common, very common, to gain the camera protection and increase radius too. So overall with that, the most expensive fifth tier two, I have to give this guy a C tier. Bottom of the list right now. Hey, you know what that means? It's time for the bottom path, Prince of Darkness. Oh, -ho! my first upgrade into Intense magic. Pretty good, I'll be honest. Not only his pierce is increased to 7, plus 5 pierce, he shoots even faster projectile speed. That's pretty good too. Time for his second upgrade, Monkey Sense. Not only he gains camp protection, he also gains 10 radius, so now 50, but being able to hit camos that early on is so good. Time for his third ability, Shimmer. Bam! Now this is quite a bit. Not only he gains the Shimmer attack, but his radius is increased to 60 now, plus 20 radius. His Shimmer attack does no damage, but 100 pierce happens every 2.5 seconds he decamels balloons also radius 80 so that's really good if you have other monkeys that can actually you know pop leads and whatever but even just having this guy as a 022 being able to pop camel and lead ones really good kind of crazy time for his fourth upgrade funny enough this thing is almost three times less than the summoned phoenix and that's not even the most expensive at 2380 on easy that's crazy necromancer unpopped army now this is actually a lot also you can't pop purple balloons now exactly what this does is he spawns unpop balloons that can actually hit other balloons there's a lot of stuff to it mainly his bulb is buffed shoots even faster 25 percent faster so every 0.275 seconds his shimmer is also buffed happens 50 percent faster too but the graveyard is really good especially really early on getting like a 024 Ooh, that's nasty why not let's skip to the end prince of darkness bam and this guy is doing a lot pretty much but now he can actually spawn the undead moabs do quite a bit of damage 40 damage but not only that his bolt is buffed it's 25 percent faster so every 0.25 seconds he can shoot shimmer's also buffed to 50 percent he's mainly good with other towers shimmer ability and the undead army he's actually just really good i would give you a lot more information but my recording was paused so i didn't record the other half try to record again a laptop was about to blow up getting some black screen so that's not really good but hey now this is the moment you've all been waiting for which is the best path archmage wizard lord phoenix the prince of darkness which one is it well i can already tell you right now it's not the top path it's not the bottom oh you thought it's not the middle one but it's a bottom path so good very early on can actually spawn in the undead ones mainly good with other towers but we made it to the end of the video if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe only about two percent of you guys are actually subscribed plus this did take a long time to make hey that's all i have for you guys today we did it we found out which is the best wizard monkey bottom path of course have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys later peace